Anyway, let's continue on. What? What was that? It looked like something landed over there. What's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. First of all, just some clothes. Yes, a pair of slimes now. Doesn't change what kind of uh, game over you get. You only get the game over the one that lands the finishing blow, but regardless. Just swear out of ya. What's going on is... The source of that explosion should be right around here. What the? It's a DBZ reference. <laughs> Ilias, what happened? Did you have a run-in with a uh, Cyberman? <laughs> Lying unconscious in the center of a crater is a girl with the features of an angel. She sure looks a lot like Ilias I saw in my dream last night. This one doesn't seem quite as grown up, though. Hey! Are you alright? Uh, uh, where? What in the world? The angel who fell from the sky slowly gets uh, to her feet. So, uh, she's a little small for it, but... So, baby. Did it hurt? When you fell from heaven? <laughs> I am Ilias, goddess of creation. I made this world through my efforts alone. That is a load of bull, but it is completely within your character to do that. <laughs> no way! You're really Ilias? You're a lot smaller than I expected. S small How insolent! I am an almighty goddess! You dare insult me? Taste the power of heaven and see how puny you truly are compared to me! Ilias released the power of heaven, thunder of judgment. Or shall we say, a spark of judgment. <laughs> Ow! He shocked me! Huh? Why are you a smoking pile of cinders? Well, I did feel a small jolt. Not quite enough to burn me as cinders, though. This time I'll turn you to charcoal! I'll give your charred body to the villagers to burn for fuel. This releases the power of heaven. Whoa, what was that? Stack electricity? I'll show you stack electricity. <laughs> Shuffles her feet and then touches you. A zap. Why is my power so weak? What in the world happened to me? Mirror, mirror in my hand, show me the noblest being in the land. That ain't you, girl. <laughs> the magic mirror suddenly pops into existence in Ilias's hand. She stares into it for what seems like forever. A tiny! What's the meaning of this? It could be Six Ancestors' Great Seal! Uh, my memory isn't working right. Who could have possibly done this to me? Black Callus, Protestine, the Dark God's Blood, uh, Violent Heroes, uh, Crazy Scientist, the list goes on and on, really. There, ugh, there's too many possibilities to come to mind. This mysterious crash landed angel seems to be in a panic. I have no idea what's going on with her. This is pointless. I have to get back to heaven. Okay, we'll finish this conversation later. And off she goes. She ran away. Just who in the world is that tiny angel? And how does she know my name anyway? Is, is it possible? Is she truly the goddess Ilias? All the artist's uh, renditions of her are largely exaggerated. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, right. There's no way. Crap, this isn't the time to stay around. I gotta hurry and save hands. Or Hans, however you pronounce it. things back here. One that'll make the next battle a lot easier. A strong hat. Equip it to Luca. And he gets a lot of stats up for this early in the game. I guess I could read some item descriptions. Let's see. Custom sword. A light sword specially made for Lucas' physique and fighting style. Strong hat. A sturdy hat, but it doesn't give much defense in combat. Clothes. Everyday clothes used when doing chores. Doesn't have much defense in combat. And... The other items... Boomerang. Throwing weapon carved from wood, used for hunt hunting. And the fish boomerang. Boomerang combined with a fish for some reason. Object of envy for slimes. <laughs> Which, based on the picture, it looks like they just took the, bo the wood boomerang and shoved it inside of a fish. <laughs> and... A mini, I mean, a small metal, not a mini metal like you would find in Dragon Quest. Nothing like that. Although it serves the exact same purpose. And there is Hans with a bubble butt bunny <laughs> slime. <laughs> Alright, before we do this... I'm going to fix one configuration so that lost scenes will always ask. I'm going to change my equipment to the fish boomerang and save. Really? Don't run for freedom. <laughs> hop, hop, come make it slop. Yay, time to eat. Yay, let's squeeze them dry. A bunch of greedy, hungry slimes. So, someone save me in in about uh, ten minutes from now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Stop right there! Get away from Hans! Ah yes, bunny slime. So, while she is a reddish slime, her for her is from eating carrots. Despite being a slime, she insists she's a rabbit. And even though she's a bad slime right now, she's just more boastful than anything. She likes some make herself to be more grandiose than she actually is. But other than that, uh, she's cute. She uses her, her her bottom there as a giant hippity hop. But anyway, I like her, so smash for the bunny slime. Oh, so you came to help this villager? You sure look a lot tastier than he does. Hop, I'm gonna make you slop too. Yay, more food! Yay, we'll squeeze them dry too. Crap. I guess I have to fight them. Alright, first boss battle. So for this battle, if you it's a lot easier if you saved that firestone. Because it does 300% dexterity fire elemental damage 
to all foes. Slimes are, of course, weak to fire, so it should knock out her friends immediately. <laughs> Alright, we dodged. That's a nice dodge. Alright, unfortunately with the fish boomerang equipped, doing flail wildly would be a terrible idea. So we shall just attack. I'll wrap you up and get you, get you! I think I might be in big trouble here. What's a rabbit to do? Hey. How about I give you my special service? You don't want to miss it! Ignore you? Oh, nice! Nice that Luca dodged that. Ow. Very hard might be a bit much for this run. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> so you were defeated by Bunny Slime to suffer our defeat in the first. Mid boss fight. This is going to be a painful adventure. I'm inclined to agree at this rate. <laughs> you want to be level 2 when challenging the bunny slime. To be honest, you don't have much of a chance at, at level 1. The key to this fight is to manage your HP. If she binds you when you're under 20 HP, there's a chance you won't make it. You want to leave no room for luck, you'll have to heal yourself even if it's only for 10 HP. Prioritizing healing and keep attacking. You may want to deal with our slime girls using a boomerang. Giving its low hit rate, a sword is probably the better weapon. Now go, oh brave Luca. Treat that lab it like a real one and make a stew out of her. Based on her look, she tastes like bubblegum, but based on her actual contact she probably tastes like an actual carrot stew <laughs> anyway we need to reload because we need to keep that firestone what we do need however is we need some herbs so we're gonna make a quick run back down and get some herbs Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Firestone. Alright, use an herb. Oh, she talked to me herself. Hey, can I have some money? I want to buy carrots in the village. Yay! I'm so happy! Alright. Hopefully we can tank one hit. Now she's done her slime attack. No, we couldn't. Very hard might be a bit much for this run. Okay, come on now.
Jesus. That's half my HP in one hit. Was just a bit faster. Oh, nice dodge. Come on! That was the closest I got. One more try and then we'll switch to hard. Oh, but he's on fire, that's perfect.
Alright, Bunny's no longer on fire, but she's in trouble already. And Luca just barely survived that. There we go! Ah. <laughs> uh, that was a lot tougher than it probably should have been, but from here on it should get easier, because from here on we'll have party members. Eh. Hey, Suka. I never thought you'd be the one to save my bacon. I want to head back to the village. Thanks again. <sighs> I'm glad it worked out. Guess I should be going too. Mm, that'll be good from now on. Alright, and we'll pick this up next time. Bunny Slime. A slime based monster comprised of pink liquid. Wanting to be a rabbit, she insists that she is one and cries when you point out that she is not a rabbit. Although she is known among slime monsters for causing trouble, it is difficult to say if she is truly hostile towards humans. She is quite greedy, however, and captures human men in her sticky body to squeeze out their stuff. As for why her body is pink, she claims it is because she ate a lot of humans, but it's actually from eating too many carrots. <laughs>